usually you see the RVs a lot up like in Baja California and along the Pacific Northern part, but now they're starting to reach all the way down here now. Oh, the, the other the last time I was down here, I was uh, in the in the town of Isla Aguada, which is just on the other side of the lots, and we were sitting having lunch at this little cafe that we'll show you guys today. But these two RVs rolled in and talk about uh, the little saying, uh, "It's such a small world." Not only were they from British Columbia, they noticed the British Columbia plates on my truck, but they're from the same suburb of Vancouver as, a, <laughs> as I'm from. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so we sat there, we had a great, we talked a little bit, and, and they, they, six months a year, take their RVs, they go down through the Baja, they travel all the way down, they came down into Quintana Roo, went into Belize for uh, about a month, right? and then they were making the loop back through this way, and this is the second year in a row that they've made this side of the peninsula part of their route yeah, right. it's for fantastic. their vacation. Yeah. So it is getting the exposure. Because of NAFTA, you know, Mexico has some really good roads now, and it's made it much easier for people from Canada and the States to, to have a, access to these parts of Mexico other than by flying. Um, so RVers, you know, are, are a very special group of people and they really like that open road and, and coming down here, there's also really a, a, a great um, RV park here in Isla Guada that's run by a, an American couple. It's been here for, for many 